I just assumed that uh, it was another bomb scare of sorts. A man is found dead in a car in Purdue's Wood Street garage. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Dismore. The Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office bomb squad and several law enforcement agencies are called in to investigate the death. Nicole Kahn is live at the Wood Street garage. Nicole, a lot of questions are still unanswered. That's right, Tiffany. What happened here earlier on Purdue's campus has many Purdue students and employees wondering what exactly is going on. Police say they have just as many questions. What Purdue police tell me is at 4.30 today, here at the Wood Street Garage, which is right behind me on the sixth floor, they found a four-door maroon car with Florida license plates. In the back seat was the body of a man. In the front was a suspicious package. Police say they had to investigate that suspicious package and make sure there was no danger to first responders before they could get any answers on the death. Students and staff stood waiting to get their cars after police closed the Wood Street garage. One student got lucky and was able to get his car out before officers shut it down to traffic. I left Craner and returned to my car on the sixth floor of the Wood Street garage. Um, at which point the Sheriff's Department and Purdue Police were taping off, um, I'd say, the southeast corner um, and were removing vehicles, having people remove their vehicles from that area. Um, and they were surrounding a small red four-door um, which was parked on the southeast corner with all of its doors open. The bomb robot examined a backpack found in the front passenger seat. Police say how it was configured and the contents of the bag made it suspicious. And we were checking the garage and, and uh, came across a vehicle that we've got a device in it that we looked a little suspicious to us, so we're taking all the appropriate precautions. A student who doesn't want to be identified but who saw the scene from his office in the graduate building across the street said the robot pulled out books and papers from the backpack. The bomb robot also shot a water cannon at the lock on the car's trunk so officers could look at the contents inside. It made it sound like a gunshot. So officers warned people nearby about the noise before popping the lock. Nothing harmful was discovered inside the trunk. Purdue Police Chief John Cox tells me how they found the man's body in the car was around noon. The Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office received a report of a missing person. Officers used cell phone technology, and that's how they located the man who was dead in the back of the car. Purdue Police do believe that man is somehow affiliated with Purdue University. They don't know at this time if he is a student or an employee. I did speak, though, with one student who had his car parked on the sixth floor, and he says that floor is C permit parking, and C permits are mainly issued to students. Police are calling this a suspicious death at this point. The autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. Purdue Police did send out two text messages to students and employees about the event tonight. One was to let them know that something was happening at the Wood Street garage and they should avoid the area. The second one was to let everybody know that the garage was reopened and they could access their cars if they needed to. We'll keep you updated about what happens on this investigation. Reporting live from Wood Street on Purdue's campus, Nicole Kahn, News Channel 18. Thanks, Nicole. More teacher layoffs could be on the horizon. Nine teachers are facing job losses at the Benton Community School Corporation. The district faces a half a million dollar shortfall. Two of the nine teachers pleaded to the, keep their positions to the board tonight. I got a name on that piece of paper. I have a life.